Good afternoon, members and friends of Calvary. Time for your video devotion of the week. Uh, last week, I was talking to my family, my kids, and uh, Liberty began to make fun of me. And she said, Dad, you do something that old men do. You check the weather every day. And we got to laughing about that, and I do check the weather every day. And uh, probably I, I have to do it now. I used to rely on Brother Bob, and uh, uh, he's in heaven, so I have to do it now. And Mark even chimed in that he checks the weather every day. And we want to know what's going to happen. We want to be prepared. So last week, as I checked the weather, it said that today was going to be some snow. And so we made preparations. We uh, went and got ice melt. We made sure we had the shovels handy and ready. Uh, I dressed warmer today. We even tried to warn some other people about uh, uh, the weather that was to come. And so now that it's here, we are already prepared. Uh, we are we are good to go. Uh, uh, we're, we're we're ready for it. In Proverbs chapter twenty two and verse number three, one of my favorite verses in Proverbs, the Bible says, "A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished." And Solomon says, a, "A prudent man, a wise man, a smart man, will pause every so often and and look at the direction that he's headed, and and look at where that's going to take him. Look down the road and see how he's doing, and make some adjustments." and make some preparations. A simple person just lives in the moment and continues on and, and suffers the consequence. In a simple sense today, if you didn't look at the weather, or you didn't listen to other people who warned you about it, you're maybe in a light jacket today and you're cold. Maybe you didn't leave early enough this morning and uh, so you were late for work because of the bad weather. Uh, you don't have any ice melt and now Walmart's already sold out. Those are simple uh, consequences of not looking down the road. But in our spiritual life, it's much more significant than that. If I keep going as I'm going, will I love God uh, the same or more five years from now? If I keep going like I'm going, uh, how's my relationship with my wife and kids going to be? If I keep going like I'm going, how's my love for Calvary Baptist Temple or the church God's brought me to going to be? A prudent man will stop every so often and just see, how am I doing? Lord, if I keep going down this direction, where am I going to end up? How's this going to work out? The simple Solomon says, are the ones that just keep going, and in the end, they're the ones that are punished. I trust you'll take some time today and seek the Lord in prayer and even just contemplate in your own life and heart what direction you're headed and what destination that will ultimately bring you to.